Welcome to my brand new series where we're going to be highlighting specific items that are obtained or created in order to complete tasks, achievements, or progress your account. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. Are you an Iron Man who is searching for a specific item but not sure how to obtain it? Or perhaps you're a main account trying to acquire an item you forgot how to get for a specific task. In this video, I am going to show you some items that I personally wish I had known about earlier to make both the early game grind on my Iron Man account easier and making some achievements on my main account less agonizing. <laughs> When I had first started out my Iron Man account, I knew I had wanted to get 99 woodcutting. I then learned that the rune hatchet was going to be an item that I would need because it would be a while until I could camp Dagoneth Kings for a dragon hatchet. With a requirement of 50 smithing, making one is definitely a task. However, if you want to achieve 33 quest points instead, you can simply purchase one from Scavo's rune store in the Champions Guild. This is something I personally wish I would have known earlier on. The second item in this video is the infamous Blisterwood Stake Thrower Crossbow. This crossbow is required for the In Memory of the Myreki mini quest to build Vertida Cephalatis, I hope I pronounced that correctly, statue. The ability to create one is unlocked after partial completion of the Lord of Empyrium quest. To create the crossbow, you will first need to use one mithril bar and one silver bar via the smithing interface. Once you're in the smithing interface, go to silver crafting or silver smithing and create silv thrill limbs. Then you must fletch one blisterwood stock from one blisterwood log, which can be gathered from the blisterwood tree in Darkmire. Once you have both the silv thrill limbs and the blisterwood stock, combine them to create a blisterwood stake thrower crossbow U. Unstrung. Then, add a crossbow string to complete the crossbow. If you are an Iron Man account, a crossbow string is created by using raw beef on a range to receive sinew, then use the sinew on a spinning wheel. You have now officially learned how to create a blisterwood stake thrower crossbow, and you're able to complete that portion of the mini quest. The third and final item for this episode is the Holy Sithara. This is needed to complete a specific step in Master Clue Scrolls, the AB Sithara achievement, and can also be used to complete the This One Time Archaeology achievement. The Holy Sithara can only be obtained by searching the reliquary in the basement of the Abbey of St. Elspeth Sitharid. Sitharid? Sitharid? I don't know. After completing the One Piercing Note quest. Attempting to take the Holy Sathara without meeting the specific requirements we are going to go over in this video will result in the player having their life points reduced to 1. If you are receiving the Holy Sathara for the first time, this will reward you with 50k prayer XP. In order to obtain the Holy Sathara, you must meet the following requirements. Be on the standard spellbook. Be on standard prayers and have full prayer points. Have 100% run energy. Do not have any followers summoned. Have a completely empty inventory. Have all of the following equipped. Ring of Visibility, unless you have been granted the gift after looking into the Shadow Realm by Sliske. Go speak Amulet or Cramulet unless the reward from Mauritania Hard Tasks has been claimed, and also have six pieces of acceptable Ceridoman equipment that the player owns. No items that are aligned with any other gods other than Ceridoman may be equipped or in your inventory. Keep in mind that the Ring of Visibility and Ghost Peak Amulet or Cramulet count as one of these items. Personally, I already had the full Ceridoman War Priest set in my player-owned house, and I had the Lucky Ceridoman Godsword in Diango storage that was in my bank. A short list of other items that work are the full Sithraidi or Sithraid outfit, Ceridoman armor, which includes Rune Ceridoman, Dragonhide Ceridoman, and Ceridoman robes, including the Coifs, Mitris, and the Relic Helm of Ceridoman, a Ceridoman cloak or cape, Monk's robes, a Ceridoman sword, staff, Majorner, chisels, arrows, or a Ceridoman's book, which can be charged or uncharged, or otherwise known as a damaged Ceridoman's book. By playing the Holy Sathara while standing in the Sithraidi Abbey, you will complete the AB Sathara achievement, and also the Reliquary of Sathara by obtaining the Holy Sathara. If you have any suggestions for other items you would like covered in this series, make sure to leave a comment below. I would like to curate this series for you, as I want to share as much knowledge as I can to help those who need it. I haven't necessarily thought of a proper name for this series yet, so if you have any ideas for a series name, feel free to let me know also. Need a guide for the in memory of the Myreki mini quest? Look here. I got you. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.